Hey all, in this very much video, I just want to talk about how we'd love to set the record straight what went on this past couple of days so that really brings me into pretty severe anxiety and depression pretty severe suicidal thoughts uh, a couple of days ago uh, that is a DC came to my house came to my home they, uh, they asked me to pay their bills and when I asked my siblings and I'm deeply sad and I'm deeply distraught but but what they have did because they did not give a shit about it then they did not give a fuck about it they did not give a damn about it they did not what is it called well, uh, they did not give or uh, maybe pay attention about it so I was asked to, to pay with my own bills I was asked to pay my own rent I was asked to pay my own debts but you all know I do not use that money 75 almost 75 percent of it was used to pay their own bills to pay their own money to pay their own rents to pay their own debts because I, as I said in the other channel that they themselves self selfishly prioritize to pay their own debts to pay their own money to pay their own bills to to pay their own rent so that are really incorporating into my severe anxiety and depression and maybe incorporating into my severe suicidal thoughts so yeah i was attempting to commit a suicide but the result is i got an asthma attack from there on um, the, the fact number two is I have to. I was forced to pay the electricity for the family, which I never used the air condition. I only used only for the night. But I was forced. I was asked. I was demanded to pay that electricity, and. I was deeply saddened, I was deeply distraught by that kind of circumstances, with that kind of situation. They themselves don't give a shit about where, about where the money that I will use, about the, where the money that I get, all, all that they had to know is the electricity is already paid by me and it sucks you guys it sucks it's really bringing me into my pretty severe anxiety and depression it is incorporating at the end of the day into my severe anxiety and depression and the saddest part of it is it is at the end of the day it is bringing me into suicidal thoughts but I and I was attempting to commit suicide by drinking a lot of anti-depression pills. But thanks God, I still made it to this day. I, God still loved me. They never let the enemy won over me because God always protects me. And for that, I'm forever grateful. At the end of the day, you guys, it is so sad and it is so distraught to face the reality. I feel that only dead, only dead can save me. But God never let them know me. God still loves me, so that's why I still make it to this day uh, and I cry a lot almost every day now like I'm in the morning 
I feel that I can take this persistent loneliness, persistent worriness, persistent stress, persistent helplessness, persistent sadness, persistent anxiety, and persistent depression any longer. Knowing that my family are the number one contributor into my severe anxiety and depression, knowing that my family is the number one in who, who are incorporating into my severe anxiety and depression has been bringing me into severe anxiety and depression or even bringing me into pretty severe suicidal talks and I feel that I couldn't handle it and I feel that I cannot take it any longer I feel that I have to carry so much baggages behind my bed I have to carry so much what is it called so much pressure behind my bed because it's hard to wake up every morning with the sense of hopelessness with the sense of loneliness with the sense of sadness with the sense of helplessness with the sense of worriness with the sense of anxiety with the sense of depression it's hard you all to wake up every morning with that kind with the sense of that kind of feelings i feel that i can take it any longer but i forever grateful that god still loves me they he himself never lets the enemy won over me because i have to fight for my life because my life matters my future life matters and i just want to encourage each and everyone you guys to do the same never let the enemy won over you because you own your life so you have to fight for your life because your life matters your future life matters so don't give up don't be surrendered god's always by our side by our side god always love you so don't give up never let the enemy lie to you so i think that's all for this video you guys and if you guys have been dealing with a similar circumstances you guys can comment down below maybe we can share its other experience uh, about dealing with anxiety depression or even dealing with suicidal talks so that's all for this video you guys i love you guys thank you so much for your endless support thank you so much for your endless prayer thank you so much for your endless love i cannot thank you guys enough because it really sustain me it really sustain my life and for that i'm forever grateful so yeah so i love you guys so much and i just want to encourage you guys to believe in god to still praying in god to rely on everything you want god because he always listens to his children he never lets his children do such dead negative things so i'm just uplifting everything to him and glorifying to him and yeah rely upon god god always what is it called oh, god always brings you in the path in the better path that you are supposed to be so yeah that's all you guys for this video i see you guys in the next video i love you all and bye thanks you guys i love you guys so freaking much i cannot thank you guys enough i love you all